Well, hello, Virgo. Beautiful rising, good afternoon, and or lovely evening to you wherever you are, depending on the location of your rotation. <clears throat> Thank you for stopping by my channel. Let's see what your... Ooh, wow. So, your animal card on the bottom... The bottom of the deck is usually what we don't see coming, and it says a rebirth is assured. So, bat spirit, a rebirth is assured. So, that is interesting and awesome because as I was meditating on your energy before I started the reading, there was... A the message that came through for you, Virgo, was that there were there would be codes coming in for you. So, like, codes coming in, meaning, you know, different, um, like, upgrades or epiphanies or just opening up to different parts of, yeah, your deeper spiritual selves. So, yeah, codes coming in. So, anyway. All right, Virgo. So... Yeah, beautiful rising, good afternoon, and or lovely evening to you, wherever you are, depending on the location of your rotation. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by my channel. This is your weekly energy check-in, and this is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Jupiter signs. So welcome, or welcome back, Virgo, to another of your readings. I hope you are all doing so very well. All of my readings are intended to be timeless, meaning whenever you have found this video is when you are meant to hear this message. So use your intuition to tune into what that message is for you. All right. And on the bottom of your of your tarot is the Queen of Pentacles with stability. And this is your own energy. So this is beautiful. This is what you do not see coming in, but you have stability coming in ahead of you that you do not see at this time. So I love it. Um, okay. And look, you have a page of Pentacles that flipped over. And I am actually going to take those two as the recent past. Okay. What is your present tarot card energy, Virgo? What is your present tarot card energy? Okay. So. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So there's that. And one more for your future. There it is. Beautiful. All right, Virgo. I'm super excited to get into this reading for you. So, yeah, I've been guided to show the bottom of the decks before starting. And I forgot to do the Oracle one, but, yeah, that's okay. We still got the message of the rebirth is assured. And let's see what your spirit animal for this week is. No way. It's the wombat spirit with B at home. And... This literally came out for Taurus as well. So, Earth signs. I think you're just being guided to be at home. This is amazing. Oh my gosh. This is the first time this has ever happened with two, um, yeah, with the same spirit animal coming out twice, but I love it. So, here we go Wombat Spirit, be at home. Burrowing deep into the ground, remaining safe, sound, and well-fed with family is a special trait of the wombat. Home sweet home is always available if you recognize that well-being is the truth of life. Wombat spirit reminds you that to be truly at home in the world, you need to find comfort within your own skin. You do this by accepting... Okay, let's focus. You do this by accepting all your experience without judgment through a deep honesty and love of life. When you feel the freedom to be yourself, you can begin to truly feel at home in your life with your family and tribe. Right now, you're in a beautiful place where you can hang up the code of your identity and settle into a true sense of home and well-being, understanding that all is well. Everything you do from this place rings true in harmony with spirit. So, wow, be at home, Virgo, be at home. So, 
Yeah. Wow. I love it. In your recent past, you have number 20 with beauty. Beauty. So what I feel is that in your recent past, you have started to see more of the beauty in life. However, that applies to you. Um, I feel that you're starting to uh, see more of like the positive aspects. You're no longer just seeing things like as you know, they are, you're seeing them a little differently. So like you see that this is, this is a flower. This is just like a leaf and this is a butterfly, but it may, has made this beautiful face. So I see, I feel that you are seeing more and you are seeing more of the beauty in just nature and life in general than you have before. So that's beautiful. <laughs> so and your tarot card is the page of pentacles with prospects and also wow the page of wands with invention so i feel that this beauty i feel it's a new in this in your recent past it's something new that you have experienced because these are pages and pages are like the like they're the the kids of the <laughs> um of the court cards you know like they represent like new beginnings or like messages or something but I feel that this beauty in your recent past it was something new that you were experiencing and you started just to look at all of the things like all of the different prospects that you could see beauty in and what could you make out of them like with this invention like what could you make of this beauty like not that you are necessarily inventing something, but it's what can you make of this beauty? Like you are just, you're just looking at all different things to see the beauty in them. And yeah, wow. Yeah, I love that. I love the way that those came out together. So your present energy is card number 12 with boundaries, boundaries. So I feel that right now you are working on your own boundaries. What are healthy boundaries? Um, what are boundaries versus walls? <laughs> and the boundaries that you have, are they strong? You know, you are just observing and I feel that you are learning about boundaries and what that means. Maybe this could be even just like within your own home. Um, there's green around here. So this could be even through your, like with your own heart chakra. So you right now are in the energy of, you know, seeing what boundaries you need to set and what boundaries are healthy for you. Your tarot card, well, is the star with inspiration. Ah, oh, I love this. So, I love this so much. So, right now, yeah, you are in the, inspir you are inspired right now. And I love it so much. Actually, I was talking to a Virgo earlier today and he was telling me that he is in that he was inspired and so I love that this tarot card came out because it's so perfect and beautiful so yeah you are in the energy of inspiration and you know this inspiration could be you know helping you to establish firm boundaries within yourself or what that means um to you in many many different ways so I love it moving forward into your future energy we saw you have the card sovereignty sovereignty card number 41 so I love that you are going from boundaries to sovereignty because this is you standing in your power this is you becoming the master of your own realm the master of yourself what you you know want to be do explore whatever you are stepping into your own power and I feel that this is you learning how to bend energy and things to your will like learning how to manifest and bring things into your life that you want to have and that's amazing 
And yeah, we have the Queen of Swords with Independence for your tarot card. So I love it because, yeah, absolutely. Like sovereignty is independence. And so moving forward, it's like you are cutting anything out that was not helping you to be your best independent self. So you're cutting out anything that was not that does not help you to stand in your own sovereignty, your own independent, beautiful Virgo self. So, wow, I love that so very much for you, Virgo. And uh, yeah, be at home. You are amazing. Like It's like you're seeing this beauty. You're learning to set boundaries and then you're stepping into your like true power. This is an amazing reading, Virgo. So, wow. I hope you found something that you resonate with. And if you did, please remember to hit that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Thank you so very much for being here, Virgo. I love you and appreciate you so very much. And I'll see you in your next one.